All right, guys, I'm uh, playing with something different this time around. I uh, got myself a nice little uh, one-tenth Marauder here uh, car I'm going from flying to, to driving, but you will um, might you know some of you might be interested again remote control so hey why not right anyway so i uh, i got myself this uh marauder but i more importantly i got uh, with it a uh a remote control fly sky it's uh something i haven't played with before but also like my grautner has telemetry in it so uh, i was first thing of course very interested in how do i connect the telemetry up on the on this thing and uh, after looking at a few videos online, I went, man, that can't be that difficult. And sure enough, it isn't. So here's the, the quick and dirty on how to go about setting this thing up. Um, in my case, I'm, I only got the voltage sensor, um, external sensor here, as you can see. It, uh, it, it connects to your external battery. And uh, a lot of people connect it different ways, all kinds of different methods um, some people connected to um, to the balancing port right so tada you plug it in like that and you can see the voltage on your radio um, if you use this external or uh, the balancing port the problem with that is of course is that every time you change the battery you have to pull that out and uh, and put it in the new one and after a while this gets a little old i've seen some people just plug it straight into the receiver but that kind of defeats the whole purpose of getting your your voltage from the battery and not from the receiver because the receiver voltage actually comes through the esc which is be uh, it's, it's a battery elimination circuit or uh, controls the voltage for your receiver which is typically five volts so it'll be constant you don't want to look at that so what I found best in my, for me to do is to just to take this and on the leads that go to the receiver, so um, if you, or to my ESC, so if you look at my ESC right here, you'll see I have my positive and negative and that's actually connected to the battery, right? So on this side that goes to the ESC, I'm just going to stick these in here and like this i don't know if you can see that well on the video but i'm just gonna poke it right into the cable and like that so you want to make sure you push the brown or black wire into the black wire because that's your negative and the other one we're going to do the same thing and we're going to push it into the red cable oh wow that was brilliant so i'm not going to break that off don't be as violent as me. Just ease it in. You know, I just did it and it went no problem. And I thought, oh, let me make, quickly make a video of it. And of course, now I'm having trouble doing it. Anyway, so those are in. And now that they're in, what you want to do is take some tape because you don't want that <laughs> that exposed and getting shorted out by accident when you go bashing, right? So uh, take some, some tape. Um, cover that up and then um, then you're ready to go um, some people also seem to be confused as to where this plugs into the receiver now here's a spare receiver and I don't know if the light is showing it right properly I don't want to bring it too close to the camera because then uh, I lose my light but uh, if you'll see you have your channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 your binding port or your external battery connector if you want a so external servo port and then the sensor connector so that very one top one here that's by the the LED that's where you plug in your voltage sensor and in mine as you can see it doesn't have an external plug it just came straight with a connector already and send that plug just straight into the into the receiver and then of course that goes to the voltage and what's nice about this you can concatenate them which means that if you have the optical speed sensor or uh, one of uh, the additional thermal sensors or whatever you plug it into this side and you keep on adding and adding and adding as many if you want i don't have all of those sensors so this is the one i have i'm going to put it in here 
and uh, I'm gonna run it that way. So now that I have it in there, um, let's quickly see if I can show you what this looks like on the radio. So let's turn on the radio. I think I'm gonna move my camera just a tad here. Turn on the radio. I might wanna turn off this light because that's not helping, is it? And we turn on the car. And now you can see I have their external voltage too. And that is the channel that it shows up. So how did I get up there? Because by default, you won't see that on there, right? Well, you click on that, that box there. You click on sensor. Now, originally it will just say none, right? So you can click on none, go and select sensor none say whichever you plug i just plugged in external voltage too right so i select that and now you'll see actually i've got it selected twice here just to show you but it doesn't matter um, and now on your home screen there you have the voltage showing up simple as that nothing fancy nothing weird just plug the things in and go and have fun let's go bash